This is uh, James P. White from 95.7 Cruise FM, The Locker Room. Welcome to the Jedi Jimmy podcast. This is episode number 43, Willow episode number four. The title is The Whispers of Nakmar. So Graydon was hurt in the last episode uh, when he was attacked, and the evil was actually starting to infect him and turn him kind of like what happened to Ballantyne uh, in the uh, last few episodes. And there was actually a lot of talk with the team on them actually killing Graydon so that he didn't turn totally evil. But they were in the in Nokmar Castle, and they were being tricked by some whispers or voices that were taking place in the castle. And the reason why they were talking about killing Graydon is they want to just cut their losses and go try to save Eric, who is uh, Kit's brother. Now, Borman was actually saying if you are going to kill someone that's not trying to kill you, that's the hardest thing to do and it's the hardest thing to get over. And Jade was actually struggling with something very similar because she was struggling with the fact that in the last episode she had to kill Ballantyne. Now, we learn a little bit more about the story of Bav Morda on how she became evil. She was good once, but when she was abducted by a group, it was called the Order of the Worm, and the crone, which was the leader of the Order, warped her beliefs and gave her unnatural powers, like the power of black magic, which actually turned her evil and got her to shed all her alliances with anything good. Now, in the previous episodes, um, Sorsha actually told Kit that because of the darkness in her mother, that that darkness was passed on to both both Kit and... Um, Eric, and Sorsha. Now, one thing that Willow does know is there is a way of warding off that kind of evil. It was a special book called the Mal- uh, Maltrium, and it was a, uh, it was a spell called the uh, uh, purge- Purgation of Namshub. I have no idea what that means. That's just the name of the spell. Uh, he also says to stay away from the High Tower. Now, from the original movie, the High Tower was actually where there was a lot of evil in there. And when Bav Morda was trying to get rid of Alora Dannon when she was a baby, it was in that tower. And there seems to be some kind of uh, portal in, in that tower to lead to another dimension. Now, everyone on the team, because they were in this castle, had to fight off their greatest fears. Probably a lot of it because of the the portal to the great uh, the other dimension. Borman finds a room where he hears women's voices, and he has to deal with the fear of losing the Lux Arcana. That's the, uh, the key to that special armor. And he actually ends up attacking the team because the Lux Ar- Arcana uh, went missing and he blamed uh, the girls for it, Kit and Jade. Now, Kate, uh, Kit also sees a painting that delves a little bit more into the story of her grandmother and is kind of like an animated painting, and then it kind of disappears. And when Alora was trying to do the spell to uh, help Graydon, she could hear the voice of Eric and it is part of the evil that's trying to tempt them and fight their fears, and her fear is of failing. Willow also hears the voice of his daughter, and she was talking about something that happened to their village that he's hiding. Because one thing that you may not know is in the first epi- or second episode when they showed th- their village, the Eldwin village, they were in uh, caves, but the Eldwins actually lived in the woods with like these uh, huts and houses, 
but they're not anymore. So there's some secret that he's holding that seems like it could have been his fault. Now, Laura is also uh, uh, blaming herself for the woodcutter's death. Like those were those uh, people that were helping her when she escaped and he, they were killed by Ballantyne. And Jade also starts freaking out a little bit because she sees General Kale, who was the head of the army in the actual movie. But they all fight through their worst fears. And one thing that Alora sees is actually the death of her mother. And she had to fight through that because she wouldn't really see the death of her mother because her mother... Uh, died when she was a baby or was killed by Bab Morta when she was a baby. Now, because Graydon has been possessed by the evil, he does allure uh, Allura to the tower, but it was to help like the spirits that are in the tower to finish the ritual that Bab Morta tried to do in the movie. But in the uh, image... She sees the original uh, uh, ritual with her as a baby in the altar. One of uh, Willow's secrets is that he never told anyone because he said the way that he banished Bav Morta was through a special spell, but he used the disappearing pig trick. Like he tricked her into causing an own accident of herself to you know, basically banish her to the realm. So at this point, they're still trying to uh, kill Alora, but the rest of the team show up and together they're able to fight the evil. But Alora actually used her body to uh, absorb the evil out of Graydon, which helped expel it into the, uh, into the realm. And the cool thing is, is Kit is actually changing a little bit because she actually encour encouraged Alora and told her that the spell that she tried to do to make that tree grow actually did work. Kit, Willow tells Kit that there is a special uh, strong magic and it's an evil magic. It's called the blood of the six. And, they, and she is told that her grandmother actually had the blood of the six and because and she realizes at this point that her mother brother and herself could also have the blood of the six because of the grandmother but the episode actually ends with some of the crone uh, plotting to attack the group then we jump to Eric, where he's actually walking out of the dungeon into the ruins of the city, and then we kind of end there. But when they go into credits, they jump into a, another song. Like, remember the last episode we went into Enter the Sandman? It was a cover. Now they went into a ballad version of, it was very, very slow, of Black Hole Sun. It was done by this uh, girl uh, girl group or girl, I'm not sure, uh, Nuella. I wasn't a fan. It was way too slow. It's not, doesn't give it justice at all. The funniest part of the whole movie, uh, episode was when Jade was crying because she still was struggling with the, uh, with the death of Ballantyne. Uh, she was crying on... Borman's shoulder, and he, he said, everyone needs a good cry per quest. I laughed out loud. That was quite funny. Some new characters that were introduced this episode, I did touch base on them a little bit. Uh, first of all, it was the Order of the Worm, and then we were uh, reintroduced to some older characters, Pav Morta, Alora's mother, as well as General Kale. Now, one of the predictions I have going forward to the next uh, episode is we're going to find out what happens to the Eldwin village. I need to thank you so much for joining me with, uh, 
with today's podcast, dealing with this episode of uh, Willow. Now, I did, I have changed a few things with my podcast going forward. First of all, my episode, my anniversary episode is actually going to be coming out on December 29th because I'm not in town. So I've, uh, you're going to be able to see it at that point. And going forward, my podcast will uh, be released every Friday going forward rather than uh, Thursday. I look forward to seeing you next week when we deal with the uh, next episode of Willow. I do need to thank my sponsors. First of all, I do need to thank the Dean Blundell Network on DeanBlundell.com, where you can find my podcast and tons of others. And I do need to thank my buddy Army Chris, Fire for Effect Productions. It's his setup right here that helps me, uh, you know, give the best quality podcast that I can, as well as when I do the podcast from home, uh, he has helped me set that up and give it. Uh, help me get the equipment I need and taught me kind of how to do it. I do need to thank him and Fire for Effect Productions. I look forward to seeing you next week and have a great day.